Hey church, I'm standing high above 374 Shepherd Avenue East, and more specifically right above our main auditorium. The view from up here is amazing, and it just reminds me of how God has placed us right here in the middle of this community and this city. It also reminds me of the impact we can have as we share God's love to so many that move into this area from all over the world. Speaking of impact, right behind me is our West Wing, which has been under renovation for almost seven months. It will be the home of so many family ministries. It'll also be the place for community gatherings and partner events. Now, I didn't climb all the way up onto the roof to tell you that. We are up here to show you something specific, the West Wing roof. We have mentioned all throughout these renovation updates that it is our goal to keep you warm and safe and dry. We knew that our 60-year-old roof was in desperate need of repair and rebuild, and it has been one of our focuses during this renovation. Over the past few weeks, crews have been working in the heat and rain, early morning and into the evening to take away the old in preparation for the new. Waterproof membranes, sturdy framing, and strong platforms will not only meet the needs of our inside, but will also be more than adequate support for our new HVAC systems. Continue to pray for these teams as they work hard in the heat with heavy equipment so many feet off the ground. One of our other major priorities for this renovation is to make all floors and all spaces accessible. For example, there will be six brand new accessible washrooms, two on each floor. These six washrooms will be in addition to our standard washrooms and will give exclusive use to those with accessibility needs. Hey, we want to continue this conversation about accessibility and Marielle is with a very special guest. Over to you, Marielle. Church, I'm here on our front lawns with our friend Vivienne Yu. Hi, Marielle. Hi. Vivienne, I know you are very intentional about loving and serving God and others. Could you tell us a little bit about how you do that? Sure. Thanks for asking, Marielle. And um, it has been a blessing. Since I came back to Toronto uh, five years ago, God has called me to serve at the Newcomers Network through the ESL class teaching, as well as the uh, life group that I'm able to meet with every week and just have a Bible study. Mm. And it's just been great to do life together with them and to lean into God's Word together. So I really, really have been um, blessed with a lot of communities that God has placed around me. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah. That's so wonderful. Now, right here is a standard door threshold that most people would walk right over and never give a second thought. Bibian, can you tell us how a door threshold like this has changed your life after you were diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Right. Um, so, like you said, before then, I took everything for granted. If I need to go to another room, I just go to another room. But once I became wheelchair bound because of my condition, I had to check and see, well, can I actually go there? Mm -hmm. So when I accept invitations to whatever events may be happening on the other side of the room, I need to check, okay, can I actually go? Mm -hmm. um, and so the barriers have become a real thing for me. Yeah. I need to think about, you know, is it temperature controlled? Where I'm going? Is it really, a, is there an accessible bathroom? So there are a lot of things that um, we don't think about until we're in the situation. And so it's been an eye opener for me yeah. to just go, okay, I may not be able to go just because that, just because of that little piece of right. material. Right, so, of yeah. course. Your story is so eye opening, Vivian. I definitely take my mobility for granted. But I'm so glad that we are renovating the West Wing and redesigning washrooms, elevators, and no door thresholds. <laughs> exactly. And that's why I was very excited when I heard about the um, accessibility renovations in the West Wing because that's going to open a whole new world mm -hmm. for a lot of people. And so it's just, it's just wonderful to hear about. Yeah. And I cannot wait to be able to enjoy this time with the whole entire community together again. So, yes, yeah. that's amazing. Yes. Thank you so much, Vivian, for sharing your story and your experience with us. Now, before we go, would you lead us in the time of prayer? Sure. Lord God, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you so much for alerting us to what we need to do better to love each other. And Lord, thank you for putting this on our hearts to renovate this West Wing so that it becomes truly accessible to the whole entire community including those with mobility issues and any kind of disabilities. Lord, you love them so much, and I pray for every brother and sister who deals with mobility issues that um, you could be there for them so that they would stay strong and that they do not 
remain alone or isolated in any way. And Father, we just thank you so much for how Jesus shed his precious blood for all of us to have free access, barrier-free access to you, to your love, and to your hope that we all need so much right now. Thank you, Lord, for blessing the workers and blessing the schedule for how our, our renovations are going. Lord, we just pray that everything is going to work according to your will and your plan for all of us to welcome everyone and loving everyone. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Thank you, Vivian, Thank you. for joining me today.